The word Faraj means to relieve from sadness and distress. In some narrations, the term has been used for different du'as and a'mal. For example, the du'a that starts with Ilahi Azam al bala is known as du'a al-Faraj. Another du'a that has been narrated by the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, starts with Allahumma inni as'aluka ya Allahu ya Allahu ya Allah is also known as du'a al-Faraj and others too. As for the well-known du'a which begins with Allahumma kun liwaliyak, some have also called this du'a al-Faraj. It is a du'a that Shia Muslims recite for the reappearance of Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam. This du'a has been written in the famous hadith book Al-Kafi by Shaykh Al-Kulayni. It also has been written down by early reliable scholars with a slight difference in wording but with the same intended meaning. We will try to explain the version that is most famously recited. The du'a starts off with Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allahumma kun li waliyika al hujjat ibn al Hasan. O oh Allah, be for your guardian and proof, the son of al Hasan. The word wali in this du'a means guardian, and the ka refers back to Allah. So waliyika means a guardian appointed by Allah. The word hujja means a clear proof which silences any opposition. The hujja is a prophet or an imam who has a connection with Allah that is greater than anyone else. So that means a hujja represents God's proof to humanity, distinguishing truth from falsehood. Al-Hasan is Imam Hasan al-Askari alayhi salam, the 11th divinely appointed imam according to the Shia. And Ibn, his son is Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam, the 12th divinely appointed imam who is the wali and the hujja. The dua continues, Sadawatuka alayhi wa ala abaih. Peace and blessings be upon him and his forefathers. Abba means the forefathers of Imam al Mahdi alayhi salam, from the Holy Prophet all the way through to the other Imams to Imam Hassan al Askari alayhi salam. Fi hadihi sa'ati wa fi kulli sa'ah. At this moment and at every moment. So at this moment and every second of the day, we are asking Allah to be a few things for Imam al-Mahdi, the Wali, the Hujja. These things are mentioned in the next sentences. Waliyan wa hafidha. O Allah, be a guardian and protector. We said Wali means a guardian, and Imam al-Mahdi is the Wali appointed by Allah. Here it is intended to mean, O Allah, you be the guardian of Imam al-Mahdi and handle his affairs. The word hafidha comes from the letters ha fa va and it means protection from any harm and hardship. So in the dua we are asking Allah to protect the Imam from all sorts of difficulties and hardships. Waqaidan wa nasira, a leader and a helper. The word qaidan or qaid means a strong and capable leader, like a chief of a tribe or a commander. So we are asking Allah to be his leader and helper. وَدَلِيلًا وَعَيْنَا A guide and close supervision. The word Ain could have a few meanings, but one of the meanings is an eye, meaning carefully watching, close supervision, taking care of and protecting. So we are asking Allah to guide and keep a close eye on the Imam by protecting him. حَتَّى تُسْكِنَهُ أَرْضَكَ طَوْعًا In order that you settle him on your earth طَوْعًا the word tuskin comes from the word sakana or sukun, which means inhabit, live, settle, remain, or occupy. So we are saying in order that the imam remains, occupies and settles in the earth, taw'an. The word taw'a could possibly have a few meanings. 1. The way that the imam pleases. So it would read, in order that you settle him on your earth in the way that he pleases. Two. The way Allah pleases. So it would read, in order that you settle him on your earth the way Allah pleases. 3. While he is obedient to Allah. So it would read, in order that you settle him on your earth while he is obedient to Allah. And to use the earth 
and benefit from it for a very long time. After the reappearance of Imam al-Mahdi salam, the whole earth will be ruled and governed by the Imam salam. Through this dua, we are asking for eight things for the Imam from Allah. The guardianship of Allah, the protection of Allah, the leadership of Allah, the help of Allah, the guidance of Allah, the close supervision of Allah, the dominion of Imam on earth, the prolonged duration of his rule. One of the most important duties which the Shia must do during the period of occultation is to pray to Allah to hasten the reappearance of Imam al-Mahdi as well as for his well-being and safety. This dua is a sign of love and attachment to the Imam which will bring us closer to him. May Allah hasten his reappearance. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin